Grade 7 math, number 2.1b, multiplying integers, word problems. So we talked about in the last video, when our problem, our equation, has like signs that we're multiplying together, like two positives or two negatives, then the answer, the product, is going to be a positive. And if they have unlike signs, if we're multiplying a positive to a negative or a negative to a positive, and these are unlike from each other, our answer, our product, is going to be a negative. Okay, so here's our first word problem. A winter coat was priced at $200. Each month, for three months, the price was reduced by $15. How much was the coat reduced in price? So we think, it was $200. Is that important? Do we need to know that it was $200? What is it asking of us? It wants to know how much the coat was reduced in price. Is it asking us what the final sale price is? No. It's asking us how much was taking off of the price. So that's not even important, is it? Isn't that tricky? So we have to be careful when we're reading word problems that sometimes they stick in numbers or information to sidetrack us and trick us, okay? But it is important that each month the price went down by $15 for three months. Each month for three months the price was reduced by $15. So it went down in price, that's a negative. So we've got three times a negative 15. See? So three times a negative 15, we find their absolute values. The absolute value of three is three, the positive three. And the absolute value of the negative 15 is 15. It's just how far they are from zero, right? Then we multiply them. 15 times three is 45. We determine the sign by looking at the equation. They're unlike, so it's going to be negative. So there was a negative $45 change in the price. That wasn't that hard, was it? Let's try another one. Netflix charges $9 per month for their streaming plan to watch movies. If they automatically bill a customer for six months, how much will be deducted from the customer's bank account? So we think, okay, they deduct $9 each month. That's minus $9 from the bank account. For six months means we got to multiply that nine dollars, that negative nine dollars, by six. So six times negative nine, we find the absolute values of both numbers. The absolute value of a positive six is six. The absolute value of a negative nine is nine. It's just how far away they are from zero, right? And we multiply them. Six times nine is fifty-four. We determine their sign by looking at the equation. We have a positive and a negative, and they're unlike. So it's going to be a negative. So we write the product, it's negative $54. That's how much is going to come out of the customer's account. All right? Let's try another one. Lisa decided her hair was too long. In June and again in July, she cut three inches off. Then in August, September, and October, she cut off two inches. Write an equation to represent the change in the length of her hair. So we have to think. For two months, she cut three inches, and then for three months each, she cut two inches. And cutting her hair made the length shorter, so it's a negative from what it was. So now we've got two times a negative three and three times a negative two, but we need a total. So two times negative three, this is unlike signs, two times three is six, and because they're unlike, we have a negative six. On this side of the plus sign, we've got three times negative two. 3 times negative 2, it's 3 times 2 is 6, and because they're unlike signs, it's a negative 6. We add the negative 6 to the negative 6, and we know she'd cut off a total of 12 inches. All right? So I want you to remember, before we move on to division, to multiply integers, you find the absolute value. So if you have like negative 4 and negative 5, the absolute value of negative 4 is 4, and the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. We multiply those absolute values. 4 times 5 is 20. We determine the signs by looking at the equation. And they're like signs. They're both negative signs. So it's going to be a positive 20. And we write the product with the correct sign. So if the signs are the same, it's going to be a positive answer. And if the signs are different from each other, it's going to be a negative. Okay? Now, if you're still confused, as I said in the last video, you can watch more about multiplying negative and positive integers in the Joanne School Grade 6 Math videos, number 9.6a, or 9.6 and 9.6b. Now, this was the end of 6th grade, and this is the beginning of 7th grade. 
So it might be a good little refresher for you to catch up, to get back into the swing of things from not doing math for a while, okay? So we're going to go on to the next topic, and that's going to be dividing integers, okay? I hope to see you there. Let's keep trying. I believe in you. I think you can do this. Bye.